So here it is on the microscope. Um, this is an exacto knife, just for reference on how small this darn thing is. Um, so there's definitely some burrs. This is the first one that I did. Um, the trace, this is the 0.1 millimeter trace. It looks like it made it all the way, although you can see we didn't get our depth here. So you see these little skips. Um, I think that's one of the biggest problems with this technique. We didn't quite get all the way through. That's about, you know, it's probably about 0.1 millimeter. And here's the second one that we cut. Uh, this is a 0 0.05 millimeter deeper cut. And you can see the effect uh, that it's had on the traces and the burring. I can't even figure out. So there's your burring. We still have some, some spots down here in the slot that don't look great. Um, the point millimeter trace, point one millimeter trace, it looks like it's mostly intact. But again, you can see here we've we've got the some remnants. So this is not this is this is gonna uh, this is gonna be uh, short shorted to the ground plane. Um, so it looks like on this end we're all the way through pretty consistently. Here, not so much. So this this could either be um, an issue with the the actual PCB trace thickness, um, or this could be an issue with um, my setup. Now, I didn't auto level this, so it's probably an issue with my setup. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just give this a quick deburring. All right, so here, here it is, mostly deburred. So this is the second one. It actually looks quite a bit better. Just so uh, this 0.1 millimeter trace isn't, isn't going to make it. This one might. And then over here, this is the first one that we did. And um, this also looks better. You can still see some, it's hard to point with this size. You can see the, um, some remnants. See if I can scrape that out, it comes out. So you can see how big the X-Acto knife is cutting in comparison to this. Um, so my previous grind, you can see how much bigger the cuts are. Um, now that's probably got to do with a couple different factors, including the, the G-code. Uh, and, the, and, the, and the overlap in the in the um, in the, the flat cam setup, um, but I do think the previous grind of the bit that I did um, was definitely wider. There's little bits of crap down in there. All right, I'm going to hit it with some Scotch Brite.
Yep. All right, let me see if I can find the offending. Almost cut through it. That looks clean. Try it again. Oh. I tried to cut deeper on that pass. Uh, I don't know that I was successful. It looks like the one end is slightly deeper than the other end. Uh, you can see this this 0.1 millimeter trace didn't survive. There's a little, little hanger on. I don't know if this is from the cutting or the deburring. I've already deburred this. Hard to coordinate here. Yeah, that's no good. Yeah, this is not isolated, I don't think. Yep. So, I mean, I'm close. I think, um, I, 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 I don't really know. <laughs> I think uh, it has some merit to it. I don't know that I can get it to work. Um, with a different setup, see if I can find one. This one here, we'll see if this one is isolated. Yeah, that one is, that one is actually isolated. Move to the next one. That one is also. And the little, the little point two didn't make it. You can see this didn't get all the way through the copper. Same here, same here. That one's close. This one. This is definitely a deeper one. No, it's not isolated. That one is. So that's 0.3 millimeters. Yeah. So I don't know. It's close. I think I need a different uh, geometry for the um, the scratcher. All right. So here's my setup for uh, sharpening these little burrs. This is a broken off uh, carbide seven millimeter drill bit. Um, so I've got a battery here. I've got a, a, um, Adafruit, a Adafruit um, motor shield, just a little TT motor and um, a speed controller. So I can turn this thing on. Skipping. Turn the speed up a little bit. So that's my uh, that's my spinner. I've just got it set up on a V block, and then this is a 400 grit diamond wheel with a little cutting oil on it, and I have a just a this is like a a, a sewing machine servo motor. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just I'll just regrind this. I ground this um, with a I think I used a drill and it's totally not on center. So I'm just going to regrind this real quick.
I'm just feeding it by hand. I was thinking about using this cross slide from a lathe, um, but feeding it by hand I think is good enough for right now just to, to get something that works. It's about a half a millimeter out of round. So this is the um, the tip next to a 0.1 millimeter trace. You can see it's quite sharp. <laughs> 